Good morning. This is going to be a brief tutorial on how you can take some simple black and white objects, uh, shapes, or PNG files that you download from the internet to create a short stop motion animation using Google Slides. Uh, so what I've set up is a simple scene with some trees, an airplane, and this is going to represent the moon uh, or even the sun if you think about it. Uh, and my goal is going to be to have it become eclipsed during the animation. But I think I'm going to animate first the airplane moving across the scene. Okay, so I'm going to kind of rotate that. It's out of frame right now. It's going to eventually move through the scene like so. All right. So I'm going to make sure the airplane is in order, bring to the front. Yeah, it's all the way in the front. The rest of this I'm not super worried about. So what I need to do is take this scene. Um, if you have questions about the arrow, I don't know why I have it. I thought maybe I would do a basic animation with that. But um, <laughs> before I get too distracted, let's figure out what we need to do to make this happen. So we need to duplicate the current slide that we have, all right, and then we can start to add motion. Okay, and maybe I need to have this appear a little bit more slowly. Okay, so duplicate one, two, three, four, five nudges. Duplicate one, two, three, four, five nudges. All right, I'm just using the arrow keys on my keyboard. I'm just duplicating the slide each time and moving it the same amount. Now this is far from ideal from the method that you can use uh, in more advanced programs like Adobe because that has something called tweening where instead of you doing the motion each time, one, two, three, four, five, it will allow you to set up the beginning and end points and it will fill in the uh, middle motion for you. But while we are waiting for the powers of B to show us how to uh, get that on y'all's computers, we're going to use what's free. Okay. Now I'm only moving this plane each time five nudges with the arrow key to my right. I'm not even moving it outside of um, horizontal plane. If you wanted to, you could try to apply additional Whoops, I hit move five, one, two, three, four, five, there we go. I could try to do an additional amount, one, two, three, four, five, and maybe move it vertically, um, but I'm pretty much committed to this basic amount of motion right now. But I could always go back and introduce some vertical lift on the plane and another pass. I'm just duplicating. Clicking the plane, one, two, three, four, five. Duplicating the slide, one, two, three, four, five. I've only added motion to one of the objects so far. But we are nearing the 30th frame, which is probably where I'm going to wrap this up. Okay, take a slide. Yeah, we are just going to make it. Duplicate slide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all right. We'll just call it 30 as the end. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just hit present. Okay, I'm going to start the presentation, and I want this to auto advance every second will take a long time Oof. all right so maybe what I'll do maybe I'm gonna do an auto click yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna walk through this one myself all right so that's taking me through the 30 the 30 frames all right we'll want to have that go much faster but we'll be able to deal with that later on okay the next part of the movie is having 
this little blocker come up and start to block part of the sun. So the first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of the border color on frame one. I'm not going to move it anywhere. Okay. Uh, on the next frame, I'm going to move the border color, but have it start to encroach on the shape. In fact, I may copy this, go to the next frame, let me see if I paste, oh, I paste it in perfectly, good. So what I'm gonna do is actually take this object and just copy it. And I think I'm gonna replace the old one. Delete, paste, move it over to the left, copy it, next frame, paste it, move it over one, and then I'll just delete this one. Okay, copy, paste, Move it over, copy. All right. Now, if this is too many steps for you, um, just know you could actually copy. We'll go down to the whoop, go down to the next frame, paste, move it over, copy. Down to the next frame, paste, move it over, copy. Paste, move it over, copy. Paste, move it over. Go back and copy. Copy. Paste. Move it over. I keep forgetting to copy. Copy. Paste. Move it over. Copy. Paste. Move it over. I think it's got to go order, go backward. There we go. Go to these previous frames and send it backward. There we go. Okay. Copy. Paste. Move it over. Change the order so it goes backward one. Copy. Paste. Order backward so that way the plane is in front. I don't know if I nudged it. Maybe I'll nudge it one more. Maybe that one will end up going a little faster. Paste. Move it over. Order, send it backward. All right. Oh, forgot to copy. Copy. Paste. Move it over. Order, send it backward. Again. Copy. Paste. Order, send it backward. Move it over. Copy. Paste. Move it over. Since it's not overlapping anymore, I don't have to worry too much about it. Paste, move it over. Looks like we've eclipsed ourselves. Copy, paste, move it over. Copy, paste, move it over. Copy, paste, move it over. All right. And I'm going to have to wrap this up kind of quickly since so copy. Paste. Move it over two more. Copy. Paste. So the motion is going to be a little wonky on here. Okay. And then I'll duplicate my slide. Add a few more. Slide, delete that, delete that. All right, so now I'm going to go back and delete all of the little white pieces that have an outline. I ended up not using them because it was kind of a, an extra step to create that outline. Now, so I'm just selecting these extra circular bits, getting rid of them. Got to be careful not to delete the Airplane there. Okay. Getting close. Let me 
good news is, if I ever mess up and delete something by accident, there is the ability to hit undo right here in slides. Okay. Also, uh, I can always duplicate a previous frame and just make tiny adjustments. All right, so I think. I'm just hitting the down arrow and playing back the slideshows, and you can see it in motion. All right. Um, if I wanted to present it, I would let it take up the full screen, hit play, and then just click. And we've got our very, very basic stop motion animation in just under 10 minutes. All right, so welcome back to part two of the stop motion animation using Google Slides. Uh, the quickest way to get your movie uh, to play back faster, really faster frame rate, is to do the following. You want to go to File, Download as a Microsoft PowerPoint. Okay, so after you click that, you can check in your Downloads folder and you will see the PowerPoint. Okay, when you open that up, it will open up in the PowerPoint software, which uh, I need to shrink it down. There we go. So it'll open in the PowerPoint software, and all of the same settings and content will be there. And what you want to do is go to File, Export, Create Video. Why they haven't adapted this on Google Slides yet is a mystery to me. But I'm going to leave it at Full HD, and I am going to you know, leave this setting. It should be the exact same way for you. So you do export, create video, and then I asked it to be 0.1 seconds per slide. Okay, so I'm going to hit the create video button, and it's going to prompt me to save it somewhere. So I think I'm going to look for my videos folder. It doesn't matter to me really where you save it as long as you remember, but I'm going to go into videos, basic stop motion animation, and I'll just call this uh, airplane with Eclipse. I don't know if I spelled that right either. So one C. All right, let's go with one C. All right, so saving the video. We're playing with Eclipse. You can see it's churning and bubbling and working down there. Now, I'm going to look in the video's folder. There's the video. I'm going to, oh, well, if I just click on it, you could ask it to open with any number of different video players. Uh, but just by clicking on it, my preview window is letting me hit the play button here. So let's see what it looks like. All right, and just like that, we've created a very simple stop motion animation. So if I were you, I would look to upload this to Google Drive. Then you can add it to your digital sketchbook. Let me see if I float a drive window here and then float my, oh, I have so many windows open. All right, so I've got my video folder open here, and I've got my Google Drive here. I'm going to click drag to put it into Drive. Okay, then if I go to my slides, I'm going to look for my sketchbook slideshow. Actual sketch. animated script. What did I do? Uh, sketchbook. Alright, so there's all of y'all sketchbooks, but I know that I have a sketchbook of my own, so I'm going to ask it to be owned by me. Hatchel sketchbook. Perfect. So, it's this file. I'm going to go find myself a blank page. Okay. If I need to, I can duplicate a page that already exists if I want another page like this. But I think I'm just going to insert the video from Google Drive. I would like to think it might be under recent. I don't know. There it is. Basic stop motion. Here's some other videos I've made. But I'm going to insert basic stop motion. Awesome. And I'll just kind of resize it so it takes up good portion of space. And if you end up making three or four of these, you can have them in there small. See, it's showing me even then the video playback. Okay. You can say autoplay when presenting if you want. That's fine. Okay. 
but you don't have to. I mean, you can just leave it as is, and then when you want to play it, you hit play. Yay! And there's our nice little animation.